Steve Babaiko celebrates recognition as Adweek's top 100 creatives in the world 2019. Every year, Adweek celebrates the Creative 100, a roster of gifted professionals who inspire current and future generations, not only with their work but also their passion for creativity across advertising, media, art, literature, animation and more. Steve Babaiko, who is a Nigerian advertising and music executive, public advocate, founder of X3M Ideas, a Lagos-based digital advertising agency that was listed in 2017 as one of Nigeria's fastest growing communication agencies, was featured on Adweek's list of the top 100 creatives in 2019. He's the only Nigerian on this exclusive list of international icons, which honors people whose ideas are advanced in advertising worldwide. He had friends and family celebrate his recognition as Adweek's top 100 creatives in the world 2019 at the George Hotel Ikui. In attendance was Omotola Jalade Kendi, TA, Praise, DJ Spinall, Debola Williams, and a host of others. Eep TV brings you highlights from the celebration. What would be your advice to someone, probably in your shoes five, six, seven, eight years ago, and thinking, you know what, I want to go and start my own business, I want to go and own a business, or there's something that's been laid upon my heart, and I really want to take that step rather than playing it safe. What? For young creative people looking up to me, and, and I have a lot of that, you know, I have a lot of young people who look up to me and say, it, 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 we, we work in a very intellectual business and pseudo entertainment business as well. And I tell them, what I see do that's different from our, our generation is that we live in the direction of like fast food restaurants, quick coffee, people just want to achieve and be the top dog in a year. It doesn't happen that way. You know, when you say somebody became an overnight success, the, the, the rule of thumb says they probably have put in about 10 years in the business. You know, in my case, I put in about 17 years of serious servitude and learning the business and learning all of the tricks of the trade. Uh, I think it's honor well deserved uh, because um, Steve has easily been one of the most hardworking like creatives and creative entrepreneurs we have in Nigeria. He's, he's an amazing guy. I think that to be a man, um, there are certain characteristics that you really do have to have. And I see a lot of that in you. So I just want to, I want to commend you tonight. I want to say I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not surprised that you have come this far and that you're still going to go very far because you have those uh, attitudes and characteristics that I think a leader and a strong man should have. Steve is a guy with um, a lot of um, ideas and um, he's a good guy. And um, I remember a couple of years ago when, not so long ago, when he invited us to his uh, new office, I think it was, on a, it, was, uh, it was December, and I was talking about starting his own agency. and. Um, we didn't have an idea that the agency was going to grow. Opened your agency in about five, five seven, seven years. And, but as of, by the time we were three years in the agency, we couldn't mention five top agencies in Nigeria and not mention Extreme. Steve is genius. Uh, Steve is a trailblazer. Steve is one of the most um, passionate, resilient, focused, disciplined, driven people I know in advertising in Nigeria. I want to congratulate a great man. I want to congratulate someone who has achieved much more than most people would have ever dreamed of. I want to congratulate the figure I aspire to be. And I guess when I see uh, celebrations like this, for achievements like this, I see uh, the shoes that I have to fill. He has worked hard, he has put all his life into it and well and as you can see it just hard work pays off and well I, I'm just proud I'm happy for him honestly because I can see that it really made him shine and blossom and, <laughs> and what I tell you people is that look, do what you have to do here the world is looking there's no local business in the, in the world today every business you do today is global because the whole world is looking at you.
Um, I think big congratulations to Uncle Steve. Um, I've known him for like 10 years and it's not changed standard wise, quality wise, hard work. Praise in the Listen, please. To be honest with you, I don't come to this game thinking that I'm entitled to nothing. So, which is why I tell my younger colleague, colleagues, I can never lose to, in this game because I come to this game with nothing, you know. So it's just whatever I call it, whatever credit I get, it's just like an opportunity, it's a privilege. And I don't take it for granted. I'm really, really appreciative of all the people who took time out of their busy schedule to come here tonight. I'm grateful to my wife, my family for coming out to support me. So I'm, I'm really grateful.